Hello, everybody. This is Tony G. I'm a psychic medium. And um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but for some reason, I've been really super hesitant. Um, usually on my radio show, Messages from Above, on Blog Talk and iHeart and iTunes, yada, 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 people call in, I answer their questions. And there's a lot of interaction. So coming on here and just talking, which believe me, I can talk. <laughs> I can really talk. But it makes me a little nervous um, because sometimes not everybody loves my messages. Uh, sometimes there's some hard truths. Sometimes there's things they don't want to hear or know. So for the messages today that I'm going to channel because I... I am a channel, so I channel um, information from angels. So for the messages I'm going to channel today, please, whatever fits you, whatever fits your life, whatever fits where you are in this space and time, allow it to come in. And really, if it doesn't fit you, it's okay. It, it might not, this message may not be a message for you right now today. Maybe it's for a month from now. Maybe it's a year from now, or maybe this is a message you need to hear for somebody that you love and care about. Ooh, that's good. I do that a lot when I'm uh, talking to my angels and thanking them for <laughs> sending that guidance in. So one of the things I definitely want to say is I was going to do this yesterday, and then I was going to do it this morning. And then finally, I just said, let's just test out this live stream thing. Let's just see if I can even get on and do this. And when I'm nervous, I play with my hair, just so you know, it's not a vanity thing. It's just nervousness. And then when it worked, I said, okay, just it's now or never start doing this, just start going live. So enough about that. Let's get to the messages because that's really why you're here. So on my radio show, one of the things I really love to do is start with a clearing. Let's clear something that is holding us back. Let's clear something that's going to catapult us forward. So the first word I hear is stuck. So many of us are stuck right now. And what I'm going to say is let's get unstuck. So I'm, go I'm going to start the clearing now. Oh, and that hits me right here. Do you feel that? If you feel a comment, if you don't, it's okay. Um, I'm going to say right off the get go, being stuck is no fun because in our head, sometimes we understand we're the ones that's that are stuck or sometimes we understand somebody we love is stuck and it's crazy to try to get through this. Right. And we just we want to get through it. We want to get through it. We want to get through it. And we're just we're taking steps but we feel like it's quicksand. So clearing that whole being stuck thing is really important. Okay, here we are, December 1st. Yeah, we're already at December 1st. Congratulations, you've made it this far in this year. The first thing I wanna say is congratulations because here we are, December 1st, we have made it this far with this uh, kind of ridiculous year, right? It's been a pretty freaking ridiculous year. And now we get to make it through December. For some of us, December is going to be chaotic. There are going to be a lot of truths revealed to us. There's going to be a lot of um, things coming out. Some of them we want to know, but some of them, whoo, we were not expecting things taking us by surprise things um i i feel like okay so for some of us this is going to make us really unhappy okay but brace yourself don't don't switch channels yet because everybody wants to know everything's going to be okay everything's going to be perfect and my situation is okay and everything's going to work out everything always does work out it does maybe not the way we see it right now, but it does work out. We're resilient. If, if this year has taught us anything, it's that we are super resilient. We have this never say die, never say quit 
about us. And, and here's the beautiful thing. If we find out something that we, we really, that makes us a little unhappy or we really didn't want to know, guess what? It's only going to help us because then we can move forward in a positive, powerful way with things that we really want in our life and things that we really, really need in our life. For example, if you're working at one job and they are saying, uh, you know, this is this is as far or as much as we can do for you right now. And you're really in that place where you're saying, God, I I just I want more money. I want I want to be able to be promoted. I want to be able to make a difference. If that job is swept out from under your feet, that's a prayer answered. OK, and I said this on my radio show on um Monday, yesterday, that sometimes if, if we've been out of work for a while and we didn't take any, we couldn't find a job for somebody working for somebody else, sometimes we have to take that step. We really have to take that step to create our own money, create our own job. And this can be something like starting your own rideshare company. It could be something like baking from home. It could be something like, uh, and, and with a C19, with this year, the way it's been, if you have any baking skills at all, let me tell you, you could have started baking for your neighbors who could not get out. That just came in. That's all. I love the way they do that. That's so awesome. Um, it, it's not too late. You can still hook that up. You can make pies for the holidays. You can make cakes for the holidays. My mom, and this is in my show on Monday, my mom is so amazing in the way that she taught me this entrepreneurial, you can do anything thing. So uh, when I was growing up, my mom like baked wedding cakes. She made chocolate eclairs. Do you know how freaking hard it is to make chocolate eclairs? I do, because I have never mastered that. <laughs> never. My mom is one of the best Italian cooks, even though she's not Italian. She's one of the best Italian cooks I've ever met. Okay. Beyond that, Yes, beyond that. Let's move beyond that. If your skills are not in cooking, maybe they're in writing. Maybe you're great with editing and grammar. Maybe you know how to add that special flair to something. Just because you don't have an uh, education, like a school education in it, doesn't mean you can't throw your card or your number out there and say, hey, listen, if you need help with this, I can help you with it. Even accounting, just because you don't have a, a degree in accounting doesn't mean that you can't help other businesses with their accounting, finding, uh, being helpful in finding tax stuff. Now, for you, whatever you do right now, whatever you've done as a career or something you've really wanted to do, this message is coming through so strong, so strong. Whatever it is, jump make that jump it's time to jump and if you make that leap of faith you are going to be rewarded seriously rewarded now if you have a day job and you want to jump it doesn't mean quit your day job and go full on into this other thing you can you can have time my mom always had a full time job and she was doing her what we now and her side jobs were massive. <laughs> I mean, she cooked for an Italian bakery. Um, and when I say my mom made wedding cakes, let me explain something here. This wasn't a flat sheet cake, although she did some full sheet cakes, full on decorations that were blamazing. I mean, and she never took a class how to learn this. Never, ever took a class like, how do I make wedding cakes? There wasn't Google back then. She didn't Google this. She just intuitively jumped into it. But my mom made like tear wedding cakes with stairs and tears and decorations and beautiful creations of wedding cakes that <laughs> tasted amazing. 
Okay, so we all have that in us. It might not be in cooking. It might be in computers. It could be in home stuff, decorating, organizing, who knows? Okay, so let's go on a bit. I can, I don't know why I was so afraid to do this once I stopped talking. It's not, it's not getting me to talk. It's getting me to stop talking. That's the problem. But I do have to be mindful of the time because I do have clients this afternoon. So as I move forward with this message, all through December, be hyper vigilant, hyper aware. Make sure you're paying attention to what's going on around you. There are so many truths coming out through December. When you hear the truth, and this isn't only in your personal life, family life, it might be in your work life. It, it could be uh, locally to your city or state, but definitely, and I want you to pay attention to this. Seek and you shall find, says Archangel Michael. Seek and you shall find. Um, Archangel Michael or Mikael is the angel of guarding, guardian, protection, safety, and the message I'm getting right now, and I, and I wear this because I see him a lot. I mean, a lot. He pops up. Um, the message I'm getting right now from him is we, meaning the angels, are bringing the truths to the surface. We want you to seek them out. And these are global truths. And I understand there's so much going on. It might be overwhelming to take it all in at once. But what they really want you to do is start like baby steps, baby feeding yourself these truths so that we, without the truth, we can't move past what we've been stuck in. So if we have these truths, right, we, we get these truths and we start moving forward with these truths, we uh, individually and globally can create a new existence where we're no longer putting up with things in our personal life or our universal life. Oh, well stated, good job. Um, so by all means, if a truth comes to you, just look up and say, thank you, I am blessed and do the best you can with that truth. Know it's a blessing in disguise. There are a lot of eclipses coming up. I am not an astrologer. I am not a tarot reader. I'm a channel. Um, in all my personal readings, I, you know, people, I say, make a list of your questions. Come on in, ask them. The angels will answer them for you. Um, and, and, you know, whether I'm on the phone with somebody, whether I'm on WhatsApp with somebody, whether I'm in person with somebody, all those messages, they come through the same. They're really powerful. They're really amazing. And people <laughs> always, most people come back even a year later and say, everything you said happened exactly as you said it. And I say, no, 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 that's not me. Look up and thank your angels because they're the ones that came through for you. And right now they're coming through saying, listen, we want you to be free from your past. We, we really, really want you to embrace everything that can come to you, everything you've been asking for, everything you've been wanting, we can bring it to you. It's already here. Like, um, I wanna grab things, but I have nothing except for post-it pads with my list of things I have to buy in front of me. I, I swear to goodness, I was not expecting to do this, but I had to force myself to do it so that once I do the first one, the rest of them will fall in. It's that Gemini thing. The one twin is saying, go for it. The other twin is saying, ah, we can do it tomorrow. Okay, back on track. They're saying, here's... Here's everything you want. <laughs> this pen <laughs> is a, here's a, here's everything you want. Okay, this is everything you want. But here you are. We've already brought this to the surface for you. It's right here. It's 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 two feet away from you. But you have this line in the sand that you won't let go of all these things because you think all of these things are so important 
And you're so afraid that if you let go, you're going to be making a mistake. Oh, I feel that. If this is for you, pay attention. And I feel you because I'm, you know, we all have been or are in that space with something, right? So if if you, oh, that gave me, let's clear that, right? Who and I hope if you feel these clearings, please let me know. Whether you're listening live or re-listening, it's just as effective. And if there's somebody you love that stock or you just want these clearings for, by all means, energetically bring them in or energetically send it to them too. I have no problem with that. Okay, so we have these things and we want them, but we don't want to let go of what we already have, right? We have this comfort zone with what we have and we need to, hey guys, how are you? Um, we need to really, 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 really get out of our comfort zone because our comfort zone keeps us stuck in the muck. Now, I'm going to tell you, and it's so important for you to understand, there's a comfort zone with everything. And in future um, live stream things that I'll be doing, um, we're going to talk about energy, comfort zones. But more importantly, we create what we believe, not what we want. And one of the my favorite things to do is to help people clear their old beliefs, where they've been stuck, and what's been going on with them, okay? So that they can break through to this new space where they're actually getting what they want, right? They're actually upping their income to a new comfort zone. They're actually upping their relationships to a new comfort zone. And to me, that's that's everything. And what's at the bottom of those comfort zones that we're in right now is fear. We're comfortable. We don't want to be uh, doing anything that will compromise where we are. So we want to um, kind of stay here. We'd rather stay where we're comfortable and know we're okay than let go of this comfort and then end up maybe worse off. But what if, and I have a book called What If, A Transformational Journey, and what if is my favorite statement because whenever we make what if statements, it's usually, what if it goes wrong? What if this job isn't better? What if, you know, it's always a negative what if. These are uh, positive, uh, a, a way to transform those what ifs into really positive, like, good goodness. So, but what if we get out of that comfort zone, right? Get out of the comfort zone and jump into something new and what if it's amazing what if it's everything we wanted what if it's joyful and beautiful and so future all the future uh videos will have clearings it's just what i do now back to december into january um it might be a bit tumultuous uh globally uh locally and even in our personal lives now it, that's an easy call it doesn't take a psychic to to say that we're coming up on the holidays it could be tumultuous right we we have those family dynamics but i'm going to say that some of this is these disruptions let's let's call them disruptions are from underlying underlying uh, un unresolved situations that are coming up and saying, hey, let's fix this once and for all. Let's, let's get past this. Some stuff inside of us, some stuff with other people, and some stuff like at work or and some and even things like on a local and global level. We, we have to embrace whatever truths come out. And, and again, December is all about these truths. Oh my goodness. Um, reveals, reveals, reveals. Some of them will be good. They really will. They really, really will. Now, as we go into January, we're going to see a calmness start. Some answers come in, some resolve. <sighs> 
right? It's about freaking time. We really need some resolve to some of the things that have been going on. We can't stay in this limbo, whether it's in work, relationship, uh, career, finances, globally, we have to have some resolve. We have to have some good, solid answers. We do. We deserve them, right? This is our planet. And it's up to us to shift it. It's up to us to get those answers. It's up to us to make that progress, right? Um, it took me a long time to understand this statement. You are not in this world. This world is in you. And what you believe and what you think is what is created in front of you. Now, I've manifested some pretty balls out amazing things. I have. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying it's possible. And even while I was doing that, I still didn't completely comprehend that on every possible level that it can be comprehended. But once you get that, right? You are an energetic being, pure energy that is attracting and meshing with other energies that are just like you. And if you have this intention, this really cool intention to be um, more successful, you're going to start meshing with other energies or people, things, groups that are wanting to be more successful also. True fact, prove me wrong, have that pure, true intention and um, hold it for a minute. <laughs> okay, don't say, uh, I, I thought that for five seconds, it didn't happen, so boom, you're wrong. You have to hold it and you have to really put in some energetic work and thoughts towards that, okay? And once you do that, you're just gonna automatically start hearing things Things, seeing things, uh, being introduced to things, okay? Now in January, I want to get, see, guys, I can talk forever. I could really. In January, we're going to be in this space where we're getting answers, where there is resolve, where things are finally so clear. Some of the dust is going to start to clear for us, which is good. And then by the time we have February, we'll move more, even more for more further ahead. That's my public school education coming out. Yeah, awesome. Um, we're going to move. Uh, we're going to make leaps and bounds. But I'll I'll be back um, spontaneously and sporadically doing more of these videos. Uh, but I want to say between between now and the next video, the most important thing for you to embrace is the knowing the 100% knowing that everything that's happening during the month of December is happening for you. It's ha not happening to you. I also want you to, and again, he's coming out. He's saying, Hey, don't forget about us. Archangel Mikael and Raphael and Gabriel and um, Zadkiel. They're, they're, they're like pop up one right after the other, meaning all of us, don't forget all of us, uh, include us and tell them we are walking with you. It, it's, we can, we are not exclusively with one person. We are universally with every person at all times. It's our destined honor to be here and to help people to create, recreate, create, recreate as they go through this dimension. So if, if Mikhail is with me, Michael is with me, that doesn't mean he can't be with you. He's with everyone at all times. They're omnipresent. Um, and call on them, ask them, research them. If you're not sure what's what, find a, a good, a, a good a, a research uh thing that makes you feel comfortable like the oh this feels comfortable i understand this definition i understand what the purpose is here um and then use them not you know when we use the word use people think oh i can't use an angel it's like your car you have it so that you can drive it 
You don't put it in the garage and say, I'm not going to use my car. That would be horrible to use my car. I don't want to use it. Um, angels are here to be driven. For I know. Yeah. Okay. I get it. In a, in a, <laughs> In the, in the way that we would drive our car. They're here to be our uh, guides on this plane, in this dimension, to make sure that we are ever evolving. And that's what we are, folks. We're ever evolving souls. We have this ability to go as far and expand as far as we want. You are a brilliant, a beautiful, brilliant light surrounded by the illusion of flesh and bones. We're energetic beings. and But we have to remember our source is light. And the more we embrace that light, the more we can, again, create, recreate, co-create. And that is exactly why we are here, to create, recreate, co-create. Okay, one last thing about December. Breathe. Ooh, breathe. Just take some time and breathe. Make a list of what you want and really focus in on it. Make sure you are taking the time to say, okay, if this is what I want, what steps do I have to take? How, what will get me there? And then just allow those steps to come into play. If it's something that feels so forced and uncomfortable, maybe you're not in 100% belief of that yet. Yet. You will be, though. You will. Putting it out there is the first step, okay? And remember, some plants glow, grow and glow <laughs> slower than others, right? So sometimes... Um, you can have a flower that blooms and 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 it, it, it grows in the early spring, but others don't come up until the fall. I don't know anything about gardening, but they just told me to say that. So I said it. Um, so if something comes up right away, perfect. If other things take a while, it doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means it's going to take a minute. Relax. It's just going to take a minute, but don't let go of the belief of it. There's a definite belief that goes with all of this okay um watching the time here because i do have to i do have clients that i have to take care of and again this is very impromptu um okay what else do i want to say really quickly before i sign off i want to say thank you thank you for joining me here if you like this uh awesome thank you for for enjoying it thank you so much again for joining me until next time have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.